All right, guys, the drywall guy is done. These boys are curious. And they're gone. So upset when he goes out here and they're not here. He does. Oh, that looks really good. You did a really good job. All right, guys, look what is up. Timmy's, come on. There you go. It's been a long week, and this is a huge accomplishment for him. I don't think Sparkers knows what to think. He keeps looking around like he doesn't get it. He's like, what a backyard change. <laughs> Tim's, come on, look. <gasps> come on, Tim's. Come on. Come on, look at the fence. Oh, now he gets it. Now he gets it. Ah. Day two with the fence. Tim Tim still is unsure of this. Okay, so we're gonna see if now, since we have a fence, if Smuggers likes tennis balls. No. <laughs> that is a no. Smuggers, go get the tennis ball. <laughs> okay. Well, he's playing with it by himself. This is true. He brought it back to you. Tim Tim wants the ball. Go get him! Go get him, Tim! Go get him! So somebody wants to play. Just, just as long as his brother is not involved. You're a mess. Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Tim! Well, at least he came out on his own. Yeah, he did come out on his own. Byron normally has to take the leash and walk him a little bit, and then, like, he gets okay with the yard. So, at least one of our dogs loves the yard. Yay, Tim Tim! Oh, we had kind of an accident the other day. So, Smuckers was out here playing with Byron, and I had him throw me the ball, and I went to throw it at Smuckers. And I threw it like directly at him and I hit him right in his nose. <laughs> Poor baby. It was so funny. It was so sad. You gotta stop for a minute, kind of like. He loses it in his side. Yeah, it's a bright one. Just because we're full of weird stuff all the time. Disappeared yesterday and they left it. Yeah, and see, that's the end of it. And it's just like running into the sewer line. Into the grate, yeah. It's just I don't know what it's very talking. strange. Yeah. I don't know what the point of it is. So before we go to the movies, we have to run by UPS because um, my brother had sent me a gift and they did not fit. So we have to send them back. But I don't think I showed them on camera yet. But these are the shoes that my brother got me for my birthday. But I have wide feet, so they were very snug. Hey guys, so we are at the mall. We have not gone to this theater yet. It's this new experience. But this, this is the first time, God, in years that we're not going to have assigned seating and reclining seats. Tampa colors. That's actually almost my wedding color. I want to do the Tampa Bay Rays colors. Apparently, it's not actually a fun thing. It's supposed to be. Mm -mm. Oh, someone must have jammed it. Okay, hey guys, we're at the Old Navy one dollar flip flop sales, which I will say I do like how they did it in these boxes because normally it's like all on one wall and you have to like nice. fight through it. But God, it was years ago I used to have that color. The uh, what? The silver. Mm. That was my favorite color. Never found them again. Got them today. So they like this lavender, but they don't have my size. Ooh, my wide feet. Get some watermelons. Oh, two dollars. That's actually not bad. Oh, okay. cactuses. Pineapples. Oh, pineapples. Pineapples. <gasps> Beach. Now, if that wasn't in dark blue, maybe light blue. Like if this design was on this one, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. All right, so we found another one. Barton can see if it actually works. Yeah. Oh, where'd it go? 
<laughs> you lost it. Nice. Cool. Got to keep it away from the dogs. Uh, yeah, smokers would have a field day with that. So I got. I'll just show you guys. I got the pineapple ones. Oh my god, they look so cool. And Byron's got his new toy. So I lose it at home because the and, dogs will try and take it and Tim Tam will chew it. Uh, oh, by the way, I tried to take this picture because my mom had taken it at her old name, so I was gonna send it to her in a collage. And Byron had a photo about it. This. Oh god, yeah. Right in front of my chair. God, it's so soft. Y'all, I was walking around and all of a sudden I heard this and I started singing it. God, I used to love this song. Backstreet Boys music has stand the test of time. I think a little bit better than NSYNC's did. Even though back in the day I was more of an NSYNCer. Y'all, the seats. They got they got better as the movie went on, but oh, I miss my recliners. Yeah, I was like, mm. Next time I'm gonna drive 40 minutes just so we can get, you know. get some recliners. Yeah. Wasn't bad. They actually put on the air conditioning during the movie. When we first got in there, I was like, yeah, oh, I hope they turn on some air. Go see the movie. Definitely go see the movie. But I didn't like some of the choices they made. Um, this is gonna quickly turn into Planet Apes. Like they're gonna end with this trilogy with another movie, and I, I bet you. They're gonna do a time jump 15 years in the future where dinosaurs are taking over and then there's like a small collective of humans trying to fight them all for something weird. I feel like they're going that way. Like this is the only yeah. way I feel like it can go. I, I didn't really feel as invested in this movie as I did the first one. No, I definitely will say Jurassic World was much better. And when it this movie started, was sad. this movie did not stand up to The Lost World, which was the second edition, which I actually like The Lost World better because I love Jeff Goldblum. And they didn't um, utilize him. Yeah, I was I mean, very kind of upset that. with that. Like, there should have been some sort of communication between him and them. Because he like, would not have liked Bryce Dallas Har uh, Howard's no, character it at all. Like, you gotta let him die. It was sad. And so was... I cried. I cried. There's one part of the movie, I'm not going to share it, but y'all know me, and I'm very like sensitive about animals and stuff. And I know they're dinosaurs, they're computer generated, but it was so sad sad yeah, and I think part of it also becomes sad because people really do this in the real world I mean yeah, they do go right. and kidnap these animals and sell them and mistreat abuse them, them and yeah. mistreat them and I think that's where the pain comes from because it's like yes this is just a computer generated dinosaur but there's probably been hundreds of animals that have been yeah that have been in their shoes and I kind of feel like that's almost what Jurassic Park and world and everything is supposed to show us is that you know the animals that are in these zoos and parks and all that are yes it's great that we could breed them and free them or whatever but that's not the natural order of stuff they should be out in the wild protected i did not find owen that sexy in this movie he wasn't that much of a badass either like he fought one guy for like 20 minutes and that was it the rest of the movie, like, the people would run up to him and he would just punch them. Yeah. I kind of really liked him better in the first movie when, like, the elevator would open and he's, like, standing there in his little vest. No, yeah. He, he, he didn't really feel like he was in the movie that much. Like, he would show up for clips here and there and stuff like that. Like, you know. It, he was busy with you his know, personal weird. life. I don't know what happened because it's the same director as the first movie. It was definitely just a placeholder for the third movie. Because it's definitely going to, like, there's a lot of stuff to wrap up in the third movie or something like that, but this felt like it was just kind of a bridge. Kind of like Lost World, Jurassic Park 3 can all stand on their own. Yeah. They all had their own ideas, they had their own thoughts, and yes, they're part of the trilogy, but none of them really, like, dependent on the one before it, and that's definitely where this movie was going. It's yeah. definitely the dependent of the next one. Oh my God, you imagine if I had a vlog with that thing? Like, tell me about your lunch. <laughs> it's crazy. My mom used to have one like this. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look at my table! Oh my god, it is so cute! We actually went in there to look for coffee tables and area rugs. Oh, I didn't see any area rugs. I didn't either, but somehow we ended up with a table for the bedroom. Alright, y'all, so we're at Bed Bath and Beyond. I got my little stool. We're excited about as soon as we walked out, we saw it. And then we also got the Keurig thing that we can put our cake cups away and they're not just like hanging out on the counter. Y'all, that is the cutest answer ever. Y'all see them clouds ahead? Maybe tonight we'll finally get some rain. Mm -hmm. Y'all look, my table now has a seat. I have a sofa that was on sale. If I wanted to put a sofa in one of those extra it's rooms. That's sofa. Oh, that's a nice sofa. Oh, we're in a truck for that. <laughs> and put it in the spare room. Mm -hmm. But look, now you have bunk beds and a sofa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the family can sleep over at once. 
guys, so it's like almost five. So we decided to divide and conquer. Um, I'm at Sam's. He went over to go by the table that we liked at the first habitat we went to. So I'm all done waiting for Byron. He's on long way. But I'm trying to find books. Is anyone? And those right next door to Jurassic Park. Oh my god, if it went along with her book, that would be amazing. A tear stream down your face. I promise you I will learn from my mistakes. Actually, Same for all the other songs you say you wish was our song, I, I definitely got into this one. Yeah, you did. Mm. But I didn't want this song at first. It's always weird when that's the challenge. So we were driving up on our house and I noticed something weird like behind our fence. I hope it's not like an animal because there's like a bunch of birds around it. Byron says that it's just a mound of dirt. But if you look at it closely, it looks like the head of an alligator because the top, you can kind of see the eye. It creeps me out. Oh my God, this is an alligator. We're moving. Still kind of looks like a little bit of a storm. So we decided to bring the boys out real quick. Come on, come on Timmy. Yeah, baby. Leave him alone, Swaggers. Swaggers. <laughs> hey, baby. Me. Here I echo now. Echo! Echo! You might look at that gator on the corner, though. <laughs> Whatever. I did put it in front of my chair and try to put my feet on it, but he said it wouldn't look good. And it kind of hurt. Swaggers, does it look good? You look good? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know what you're pointing at. Yeah. Annoying sound that's coming from this. Like literally last night, it was like, you could hear it in the bedroom. It was All right, so here comes the boys. Tim Tam does not care. Smarkers is normally the nosy one. One shopping trip. So glad we recycle now. So I just wanted to show you, Byron rearranged our kitchen a little bit and I actually really like it. So we moved the Keurig now over here, making stuff over here. I love it. I think that looks so much better. And it opened up a lot of space now. But it is time, guys, for Luke Cage Season 2. Super excited. Hope it's as good as Season 1. Here's one round of the eggplant, drying it out. All right, y'all. It's supposed to be a lot of her until it looks good. Whatever. Y'all, new mozzarella. Oh, it is so soft. I love, like, fresh mozzarella. All right, guys, look at it. But anyway, guys, we just watched Where the Heart Is. Oh, I love that movie. But I was kind of upset because they took out the whole her child father's, like, storyline. So at the end, when she goes and confronts him, like, it, you don't really feel that power. So I had to explain it to Byron. Do you like it? See you guys next weekend.